Moses had been working very hard to get Pharaoh to release the Jews, and from the first moment, he began trying to appeal to Pharaoh. He was very nervous. Moses was not self-confident and felt very afraid of Pharaoh and doubted his ability to change Pharaoh's mind. By the time Moses and God had reached the ninth plague, Moses' com Moses's confidence had grown in great. He began to even taunt Pharaoh with it, and knowing what the last plague was about to be, he began to feel he had the upper hand in the situation. Suddenly, Moses became very confident, and when you look back at the change in Moses, it is amazing to see how much he had changed in the process. To sum it up, life throws you obstacles. It was no different from Moses. He had to persevere and stay strong to overcome these obstacles, and in the end, he was defeated a winner. I, too, have had a few obstacles in my life that I have had to overcome. Doing well in school, even though I wanted to play with friends and getting the courage to go up to, to, go up to bat at baseball, Despite the great pitcher waiting to strike me out, or both little earth balls, it seems to fun. Life was thrown at me. My parents divorced, divorced, and especially my dad's fight with cancer also gave me perspective. I was taught to appreciate every day and to not let, let life's little challenges bring me down. We all have the hurdles to jump and mountains to climb, but I have learned during the last 13 years that you have to keep moving forward. And in the end, like Moses, it will pay off and you will feel empowered. I am a stronger, more determined, and better person of these challenges that I've had to overcome. So if you don't mind, I would like to take this opportunity to thank some of the people that I have that have made me who I am today. Thanks to my grandparents for always being there for me and guiding me. My sister for standing by my side and keeping me in line. My teachers for giving me my homework and helping me stay focused. My baseball opponent, opponent for pitching that curveball to me. My dad, my dad for fighting cancer with determination to beat it and my parents for teaching me that in the end there is happiness. I am who I am because of all of you. 